for a little dance party to get us ready for a large group. There's no, nobody else in the world like you. Everywhere I look I can see. Cause you make everything so wonderfully. Everything especially me Just a wormy squirmy. Ooh. Why don't we get some people to help us out? Or I like that idea. Who's got those wiggle wiggles? I got those wiggle wiggles. Oh. Who's got those wiggle wiggles? I got those wiggle wiggles. If you got those wiggle wiggles, come on, get your wiggles out. To this book, the Bible, right? We know that everything in the Bible is true. That means it really, really happened. And the last two months, we've been talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit, it's not 
a fruit like we're talking about an apple or an orange or banana we're talking about characteristics of living in the spirit of following Jesus and the reason why we can do that is because of what Jesus did on the cross for us remember that when we decide to make Jesus our friend and savior forever, that means that we realize that we need God's help, that we can't live on our own without God because we don't have a perfect friendship with him. That's why Jesus came. He showed us how much God loved us by coming and dying on the cross for our sin. Remember, sin is anything that we think, we say, or we do that goes against God's way. It's when we choose our own way instead of God's way. It means that we're not living by the Spirit, that we're doing what we want to do when we want to do it. Now, if you remember, we've talked about so many fruit of the Spirit this entire summer. We've talked about love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, patience, and finally we're getting to the last one, self-control. Now, self-control is really, really hard, but it's at the heart of what it means to follow Jesus. Believe it or not, when we believe in Jesus as our friend and savior, it changes our hearts. It helps us remember that we were created to live in perfect relationship with God and with others. We were meant to live a life that shows love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. And self-control is that thing that makes us go, oh, wait a second, just because I want to act this way doesn't always mean that that's how I was made to act. Let me give you an example. Say that you're with a friend and you're building blocks in order to build a big giant tower. But something happens and the tower falls down. Oh man, that's the worst. Self-control allows you, if you're angry or frustrated, not to take that anger out on your friend by using mean words or by throwing something. No, it allows you to remember that you love your friend, that it might have just been an accident, and that you two can work together to build the tower again. Or maybe you are really looking forward to going to the pool because you love swimming. It's the best. But something happens and your mom or your dad come home and tell you that you're not going to be able to go to the pool today. You're going to have to wait. Well, it could be real easy to be grumpy and to not have joy in that moment because you're not getting what you wanted, what you were hoping for. But you can also remember that, hey, they said that you were going to get to go at some point in time, which means you can look forward to when you get to go to the pool. And it might mean that you could find something else fun to do while you wait. Maybe you promised that you would help your mom pick up your toys. But when it comes around to it, you'd forgotten. And you really don't want to pick up your toys because it's not a lot of fun. But you remember that you promise to do something. And when we promise to do something, we can be faithful. Well, in that moment, you can choose to remember your promise and to pick up your toys. These are all ways that self-control helps us live out the fruit of the Spirit. It's a way that helps us remember that God made us to live differently. Jesus gives us the power to do everything. Can you say that with me? Jesus gives me the power to do everything. All right, let's say it really quietly. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus gives me the power to do everything. I'll say it really loudly. One, two, three. Jesus gives me the power to do everything. That's right, friends. You know what? Let's pray right now that we don't ever forget that we were made to love God with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. That Jesus made a way for us to do that. And he gives us the power of self-control to be able to live out the fruit of the Spirit. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all of my BT Little Kids friends here. And I thank you that you sent Jesus your son 
to show us exactly what it is to love you with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love others the way you love them. God, help us to remember that Jesus gives us the power to do anything. That when situations come up where we want to just do what we want to do, we remember that you made us to love others and you made us to live by your power and to trust you no matter what. We love you, God. And all of my BT Little Kids friends said, Amen. All right, see you soon. Bye. Get on your feet and let's get ready to worship. God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever. God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever and it makes me jump up high fall down low spin around in a circle run run fast and walk walk slow stop lift my hands and shine God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever And it makes me jump up high, fall down low, spin around in a circle Run, run fast, walk, walk slow, stop, lift my hands and shine God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever And it makes me jump up high, fall down low Spin around in a circle Run, run fast, walk, walk slow Stop, lift my hands and shine You shine, let's sing it one more time. God made me and he loves me so, and he is my friend forever. God made me and he loves me so, and he is my friend forever. And it makes me jump up high, fall down low, spin around in a circle, run, run fast, walk, walk slow, stop, lift my hands and shine. And it makes me jump up high, fall down low, spin around in a circle, run, run fast, walk, walk slow, stop, lift my hands and
Jesus came to earth so that he could be our friend and savior forever. And when we accept Jesus as our friend forever, not only are our sins forgiven, all the bad stuff that we've done in the past, but it changes our hearts so that we can make wise choices and follow God no matter what. That means we can make decisions to control ourselves when it's hard. So here's our start the conversation question for today. When is it hard to control yourself? When do you maybe want to do something that you know you shouldn't? Let's talk about that because we all have those moments. And then remember that Jesus gives us the power to do everything. 